My friends, all of us need strength, nourishment. This comes from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He is truly present in the Most Holy Eucharist. Let's go back to the last, to the, let's go back to the Old Testament. There's a biblical chapter in the Old Testament in which the prophet Elijah is escaping from King Ahaz and Jezebel. And they have the intention to murder him because he has been instrumental in doing away with the false prophets of Baal. He's heading away from them. But after a day's journey, he falls into a state of depression. And he falls into a deep slumber. And God sends him an angel. The angel grabs him by the shoulder and wakes him up and says, take and eat. So he eats this bread, this hearth cake, and he falls back to sleep again. The angel persists and wakes him up and says, take and eat, because the journey is long. He takes and he eats. And from eating these two pieces of bread, he's given the strength to walk 40 days and 40 nights to the holy mountain. And there in the holy mountain, he encounters God, not in the powerful wind, not in the fire, not in the earthquake, but he encounters God in the gentle breeze. This biblical passage of the prophet Elijah is very symbolic. We are the prophet Elijah. And, and if we really want to have strength to run the good race, to fight the good fight, and to make it safe to our eternal homeland, which is heaven, we must nourish ourselves on Jesus, the bread of life. He is our strength. He is our comfort. He is our nourishment. He is our support. He is our strength. He is everything. So in this presentation, I'd like to give you an acronym. An acronym by which you can derive the most fruit and graces from Jesus truly present in every Mass and the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. That acronym is the four-letter word, ACTS, A. C, T, S, A, C, T, S. Each one of these letters exemplifies the four different purposes of the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. So by going through these four different sentiments, you can really prepare yourself to receive in the most profitable way. Jesus is the bread of life. And he can help us to get through the difficult times in our life, to arrive at our eternal homeland, which is heaven. All of us are destined for heaven. But as wayfarers like Elijah to make it to the holy mountain, which symbolizes heaven, we have to nourish ourselves properly.
A stands for adoration. C stands for contrition. T stands for thanksgiving. S stands for supplication. I repeat the acronym. A, C, T, S. These are the four ends or purposes of the Holy Sacrifice and the Mass that you're called to participate in, in fully, actively, and consciously. A stands for adoration. C stands for contrition. T stands for thanksgiving. And S stands for supplication. Let's take each one of these letters and briefly explain it so that when you go to Mass the next time, you can come early and you can be praying over these four letters, which are four types of prayer, and you can derive the maximum profit from every time you go to Mass and hopefully participate fully actively and consciously in the greatest prayer of the whole world, which is the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. A, adoration. How can you adore God before Mass? One way you can do this is by praying the Psalms. Psalm 148, 149 and 150 are psalms of praise. The highest, the most noble, sublime form of prayer is that of adoration. We're called to adore and worship the Lord. Let us see. Contrition. Contrition also means sorrow. All of us are sinners. Myself as a confessor, a priest for 30 years, I honestly believe that one of the best penances I can give to my penitents would be to have them to go to the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass, participate fully actively and consciously, and to receive Holy Communion, which is the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ. But offer Holy Communion in reparation for all of their past sins, as well as to prevent them from falling into future sins. So that is C, contrition. The Holy Sacrifice of the Mass is offered, Jesus offered to God the Father as a victim in reparation for the sins of the world. What we say in the Chaplet of Divine Mercy, Eternal Father, I offer you the body, blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, in reparation for our sins and the sins of the whole world. Letter T is thanksgiving. St. Ignatius Loyola, the founder of the Jesuits, who gave us the rules for discernment, as well as the spiritual exercises, says that the very essence of sin is ingratitude. You remember when Jesus healed the ten lepers? Only one of the ten lepers came back to Jesus to render him thanksgiving. Hopefully we are that one leper, not the nine lepers that went their merry old way without even thanking Jesus for having healed them totally and immediately. So be thankful. Be thankful. The psalmist in invites us to be thankful. Give thanks to the Lord is good, 
for his mercy endures forever. The great, mis the great Rhineland mystic, Meister Eckert says, that if the only prayer we ever said in the world were that of thanksgiving, that would be enough. And even William Shakespeare says, in one of his tragedies, he says, more painful, that of a, more painful than a serpent's tooth is that of an ungrateful child. We want to be thankful to God for all that he's given to us, especially the great gift of the holy sacrifice of the Mass. And by the way, the word Eucharist actually means thanksgiving. May we cultivate an attitude of gratitude. May we cultivate a thankful and grateful heart. The more thankful we are to God, the more graces he's going to be giving to us. So, A-C-T-S. S means supplication. Supplication means we ask God. We ask God for help. St. Augustine says that all of us are beggars before God. All of us. Matthew 7, 7. Ask, and you'll receive. Seek, and you'll find. Knock, and the door will be open to you. Whoever asks, receives. Whoever seeks, finds. Whoever knocks, the door will be open to him. So S is symbolic of supplication. So when you go to the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass, come early and place on the altar all of your intentions. Sometimes when I go to celebrate the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass, I place so many intentions on the altar, I'm afraid that the altar is going to cave in. I think we should take advantage of the greatest prayer in the whole universe, which is the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. Jesus is the bread of life. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. Whoever eats my body and drinks my blood will have everlasting life. And I will raise him up on the last day. There's a modern saint, his name is Saint Charbel McClough was a Maronite monk who lived in a monastery. His life as a priest and a monk. He purposely received permission from his superior to celebrate the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass at 12 noon every day. Why did he want to do that? Because he understood the value of Holy Mass but especially because he wanted to spend the whole morning in preparation for the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. Celebrate the Mass at noon. And then he wanted to spend the whole afternoon and evening giving thanks to God for the Mass that he celebrated and the communion that he received. I think he's a model for us. Not that all of us are called to be Maronite monks. Not that all of us are called to become priests. But all of us are called to live to the fullest extent the holy sacrifice of the Mass. So I'd like to reiterate, encouraging all of you all of you are like Elijah. We all have enemies and obstacles that we have to overcome in our spiritual life. We all have to encounter the devil who tries to tempt us. We all have to overcome the flesh 
that does not want to obey the Spirit. We all have to encounter the world that tries to seduce us into thinking that true happiness is found in this world. Those are our three enemies. Elijah had the enemy. We have our enemies from within and from without. We are spiritual soldiers in spiritual combat. How on earth are we going to win the battle if we do not prepare ourselves to fight the good fight and to run the good race? As St. Paul says, using examples from the Greek, Greek Olympics. So next time that you go to church, next time that you go to the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass, remember the four ends of the Mass, the four primary purposes of the Mass, by means of the acronym that I've taught you. ACTS. A. C. T. S. Every time we celebrate the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass, adoration. Through Him, with Him, in Him. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. That's called the doxology. What's happening in that moment? The priest is offering Jesus Christ to God the Father through the power of the Holy Spirit. That's called adoration. C, contrition. We are all sinners, but God's mercy is infinite. One of the greatest, actually the greatest act of reparation we can, uh, we can possibly do in this world is to receive Holy Communion, offering that in reparation for our many sins, as well as the sins of the whole world. T, let us cultivate an attitude of gratitude. Let us thank God for the gift of the Eucharist. Eucharist means thanksgiving. Let us not be ungrateful like the nine lepers. Let us constantly thank God all the days of our lives, but especially in the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. And finally, supplication. Ask and you will receive. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. Ask my friends especially for the conversion of sinners and the salvation of souls. Our Lady Fatima said many souls are lost because people do not pray and offer up sacrifices for them. And of course, the greatest sacrifice in this world is the holy sacrifice of the Mass. How good God is that He's given us this great gift of the holy sacrifice of the Mass. So let's turn to our guiding angel. Let's turn to our patron saint. Let's turn to Saint Charbel Maclouf. Let's turn to the archangels and angels who are adoring God present in heaven now. Let's beg them for the grace to never take the holy sacrifice of the Mass for granted, but to be eternally grateful. And let's turn to the heart of Mary. The heart of Mary that conceived Jesus through the power of the Holy Spirit. That she'll help us to live to the fullest extent possible the holy sacrifice of the Mass. And this is the promise of Jesus Christ that we read in John chapter 6. Jesus says this, I am the bread of life. I am the bread of life. Whoever eats my body and drinks my blood will have everlasting life, and I will raise him up on the last day. So all of us are like Elijah, heading toward the holy mountain. The holy mountain is heaven. If we receive Jesus Christ worthily in this life, then he'll receive us into heaven when we die. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.